In terms of being a cultural ambassador, where, where that began was I did a five-week tour of Asia um, to begin with in, in the middle of 08, right before the, um, the Olympics. So I went to China a couple of months before the Olympics. Uh, and the tour was provided, a grant provided by the U.S. State Department. And when we get there, my host are the U.S. embassies. So we travel literally with ambassador status, but we're there to bring and promote cultural exchange. So while I'm touring, we're also doing tons of local press and we're doing workshops uh, with the public. And the idea of being a cultural ambassador and the reason why our government would support such a thing is to one, promote um, positive elements of American culture in other countries, and two, to facilitate like positive diplomacy um, through kind of like an artistic way. Uh, so because of that kind of thing, I've been in China, Philippines, Burma, Sri Lanka, I've been to Honduras, I've been to El Salvador, and in each case, hosted by the U.S. Uh, Embassy. You know, I do a lot of humanitarian work through the arts. Basically, I believe in the power of the arts to represent causes and to really touch people and uplift. In the course of that, I've come to be known as an artist that people who do humanitarian outreach can call. The subject of my songs kind of lends itself to that. And uh, Emmy-winning filmmaker Lisa Russell approached me and asked me to co-found MDG5.com. MDG5.com is a multimedia website that uses all mediums of the art to um, support better maternal health in an artistic way. So people can go to the website now and make mashup videos using, let's say, for example, a song from Honduras, uh, film footage from Tanzania, photos from the Navajo Nation, uh, and, and quotations about maternal health, and kind of all of the art that is in our library reflects motherhood and family and women. Um, so that MDG5, which stands for the Millennium Development Goal number five, and that is part of the United Nations initiative to improve poverty around the world. And of the MDGs, which means Millennium Development Goals, the fifth goal is maternal health. And there's gonna be a big push and has been a big push um, to improve that because you know, um, pregnant women, especially outside of the US, um, do not have access to sufficient resources to bring life into the world. And it's pretty shameful that uh, nearly, you know, at, at one point nearly, you know, half a million women a year are dying at, during the process of bringing life into the world. So this is something that we all have the power to improve by being aware.